I want to have a special welcome for all the people in this room tonight from 20 countries around the world. So please stand up if you're from one of those places. Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Chile, Denmark, Ireland, Israel, Italy, South Korea, Mexico, Norway, Panama, Spain, Sri Lanka, Sweden, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom. Thank you all. Extraordinary to have you travel to uh, Worcester, Massachusetts to, <laughs> to, uh, to uh, you know, find your place on that map. And uh, you bring so much to us when you come that if you think in any way, shape, or form that this is a one-way process where you're getting something from us, well, you've really got it all wrong. It's like getting an infusion of oxygen, of blood, of freshness. So thank you all. Uh, I'd like to say a little bit about, you know, we've already been at this for two days, although it just is beginning tonight. So yesterday after, yesterday all day we had a series of pre-conference institutes and workshops that were attended by nearly 200 people. Uh, last evening uh, we had 750 plus people fill this room for an evening with John Kabat-Zinn. And uh, there is one shot from that evening and another of John honoring the first secretary of the Stress Reduction Clinic, Norma Rossiello. <laughs> Fantastic. And then today we had a research symposium that was co-chaired by Amishi Jha and Philippe Golden. And uh, we had about 200 people at that symposium and this was the third year row that we have had this symposium and and if you haven't ever attended please feel free to in the future because it's both tutorial and it's about cutting edge science and so in some ways we're all getting an education as well as uh, being uh, uh, learning more about uh, the cutting edge of a whole science that's emerging around meditation and mindfulness So here we are, we've had an incredibly two, a full two days, and we're about to start again. And uh, so here we are at the uh, seventh annual International Scientific Conference. And uh, it all starts right here. This is the old faculty conference room in the, in the uh, medical school. It was the largest room in the whole university uh, medical school and we would fill it three or four or five or six times a year for our all-day session. This is one wall of that building and there would be people on all the walls and in the middle as well. Uh, this is our mission to integrate and culti mission is to cultivate and integrate awareness into the of people, organizations, and communities. And as you know, we're a part of the Division of Preventing Behavioral Medicine at UMass. I won't say any more about that. I think the Chancellor said enough. This is some shots of where we actually work and reside. This is the chair of our division, Judy O'Keen. Dr. Judith O'Keen is the chair of the Division of Preventive and Behavioral Medicine, and that's the division that the Center for Mindfulness is located in, and she's been a great support to us over these years. This is obviously, obviously Chancellor Collins, and those of you that weren't here this morning, Dean Flott came this morning. He's an eminent uh, re, uh, scientist physician, particularly in the world of uh, gene therapies, and uh, in part that's why this gene therapy center is opening at the university, and he opened the research symposium this morning. These are some of my colleagues in the Center for Mindfulness. Uh, I'm going to name them all. So Jean Burrell, and Melissa Blacker, and when you hear your name, please stand. And Jim Colosi, and Fernando Di Torrios, and P 
Pam Erdman, I'm not sure she's actually here, Larry Horwitz, John Kabat-Zinn, Diana Camilla, Marin McDonald, Janice Martirano is not here, Florence Melio Meyer, Christy Nelson, Amy Parslow just walked out with Jessica Taylor, Alana Rosenbaum, Renee Taberge, please stand, Renee is our new associate director. Uh, David Spound. David has just been hired as our new technologist. And uh, Bob Stahl, Jessica Taylor, Carolyn West, Zaida Vallejo, and uh, me. <laughs> so thank you all. And uh, you know, these people these colleagues of mine, they have supported me every day of my life that I've been here. And uh, it's been 26 years almost. It'll be 26 years in uh, August. I was hired in 26 years ago this coming June and began in August. And uh, many of these people have been here for 15 years, 17 years. 30 years. <laughs> One guy's been here 30 years. <laughs> and that guy is very special to me. And I'm going to say a little bit about him now. So, it's, he's here finally. It's the last name and the first one as that goes. So I want to have us all, but I want to thank you, John, my friend, my colleague, my mentor, my boss, my brother. It's like, you know, the roles go on endlessly, man, for all the life we've had together and all that we may have together and for your seminal leadership. None of us in this room, this is no joke and no exaggeration, none of us in this room would be here if you hadn't had the vision you've had and if you hadn't held that vision for 30 years. And so in this way, we are all in uh, debt to you. And uh, debt that's doesn't cost anything. So thank you. <laughs>